and welcome you all to my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's video we're going to make a simple video on how to cut a shot now what are the basic measurements required for you we have our waist measurement hip measurement round lap and our short length so we are going to go ahead and calculate our measurements so we have waist plus two divided by four plus two we have 10 inches 36 plus two divided by four plus one we have 10.5 our round flap is 24 now note that you have to divide your round lap by two and not by four you have to divide your round lap by two and not by four so our round lap is 24 so we'll go ahead and divide it by two we have 12 and we add our sewing allowance to it which is two inches we have 14 inches our short length is 20 now for you to get your short length there are basic things you are going to consider now is your short going to have a band if your short is going to have a band you go ahead and deduct the inches required for you to make your band so my band is going to be two inches i will go ahead and deduct two inches from my short length which i have 18 inches now deduct two inches we have 18 now we are going to go ahead and add our sewing allowance to it so i'm going to add two inches for my sewing allowance i have 20 inches i have 20 inches so these are the basic measurements required for you to cut a shot i know you are going to ask that how are we going to get the flap but in this video i'm going to show you guys very easy way and simple method of you to achieve your flap and of course we're going to start with pattern drafting now with me here i have my pattern paper now pattern this pattern paper i hope you guys can see it clearly pattern paper are available at our store and one advantage of this pattern paper is is about 60 inches long so when you are dealing with um length that when you're dealing with dresses that requires long length i recommend this pattern paper and it has like two sides a smooth side and a shining path and this is available at our store and it's actually very long i hope you guys can see it's about 60 inches long and of course we also have our white pattern paper which is not as long as the brown pattern paper but because what we need for shorts is about 20 inches and i'm going to go ahead and make use of this white pattern paper however both the white pattern paper and the brown pattern paper are available at our store so this is what it looks like so now now the first thing we are going to do is that we are going to go ahead and draft our basic measurements so our waist to hip is eight inches note that use your own waist to hip measurement so our waist to knee is 17 inches and our short length is 20 inches so i'll go ahead and mark it eight inches 17 inches and 20 inches so once we are done with that i will go in with our pattern master which is available i will go ahead and connect down with that divide your hip measurement by two now what i mean by that is our hip measurement is 10.5 so we have 10.5 this way divided by two we have 5.25 now you mark your 5.25 because we are going to use it to get a box okay so you mark your 5.25 10.5 5.25 and 10.5 so you go ahead and connect it to give you once you are done with that you are going to go ahead and mark your basic measurement so our waist is 10 now you also divide your waist by two you have five 
So you place the five at this middle line to mark your measurements. So this is what you have. Now on your hip measurements, you mark your hip measurements because we use the hip measurement to get the box. So you are going to have like the exact measurements with the box. Now on your hip line, come down with one inch. On your hip line, this is our hip line, come down with one inch. Go ahead and connect it. I'm going to label that flap line, my flap. Now on that flap line, mark your round lap. And our round lap measurement is 14 inches. I'm going to mark 14 inches. This is 14 inches for the upper round lap. And for the lower um, round lap, it depends on how tight you want it to be. So I'll mark 12 inches. Now going in with my ammo curve, which is also available at our store, I will connect this round lap to our waist measurements connect this round lap to your waist measurement using your arm or curve so i'm going to connect it this way so once you connect it this is what you are going to have now using your pattern master again connect your round lap connect your round lap together with your lower round lap so we connect it together this way and this is what we are going to have and of course this is our front block so i'm going to go ahead and cut this out have for the front block now friends between the front block and the back block is that our back block is going to have allowance so this is what we have Place your front block on another piece of fabric. I'm going to use this to tape it down. Now, I want to show you the difference between the front block and the back block. On your flap line, on your flap line, extend it with three inches. It is very necessary. On your flap line, extend it with three inches. This is where we have three inches. Now, as you decrease, you also reduce the measurement. So we have three inches. Let me connect, let me extend it on the back block also. Now you reduce it as you decrease towards your foot measurement or your round lap measurement. So we have three inches. Here I'm going to mark two and a half. I'm going to mark two inches. I'm going to mark one inches. So you reduce it as you are coming towards this direction now on this other part also on this round up also you also do the same so let's connect this together first so connect this together but your length is going to be the same we have the exact length now for your length for your length, let's connect this down, okay? Now, the difference between your front block and your back block is that they don't have the same length, okay? They don't have the same length, but not towards the lower part. That is why I placed the front block on the back block, so you guys can know the difference. So on this lower side, they are the same on the lower side so the addition you are adding to the back block is not towards the lower side but at the top that is where you're having your extra allowance for the back block but the lower side the length is equal now once we are done with that we'll go ahead and mark our measurements as you also come up we we'll also reduce the measurements so at this flap line at this flap line we made it of three inches as you are coming up, you reduce it. So we have two and a half. We have two inches. But don't reduce it to like one inch where you are coming up because you don't want to have like any um, excess around. You don't want to have your waistline being so tight, okay? Now, we are going to go ahead and use 
our arm or curve the same way we did for the front block and we'll go ahead and connect the lines together go ahead and connect the lines together now on this your round on this curve towards your back block mark one it depends but it's very between one inch and one and a half inches it just depends on how the back side like the bigger the back size you use one and a half but for those that don't have like a very big back side like me i'm going to use one inch so i'm going to mark one inch which is fine now you connect this one inch this way now look at what we have at this part they are equal at this part both your front block and your back block are equal you only have an increase in the length towards the upper part and for this lower part they are equal okay so i'm going to go ahead now and cut this out i'm going to label it as back and i'll label it as front so with this you can see the difference the difference is just an increase and also an increase in the length at the upper part of it so next thing we have this african print i hope you guys can see and african prints are available at our store and i love this print because it has like flower um, print so we are going to fold it into two we are folding it into two because we are cutting like two front block and two back block so i'll start with my back block i'll cut this out so this is what we have place your front block on it and then what you are going to have okay you guys can see it this is what we are going to have for the front block and for the back block you're having like a bigger piece and this is what we have for the back block this is what we have for the back block into two and i'm going to fold it again into four because i'm i'm going to make use of four pieces for my pocket pieces for the pocket so we are going to be fixing pockets on it and don't forget that we deducted band measurements from it now your band you are going to make use of for your band you are going to make use of your waist measurement when cutting your band now our waist measurement is 30 so you make sure you are divided by two you make sure you have that and the width of it we deducted two inches from our measurements when we are cutting when we are calculating our measurements so you are going to add one inch for sewing allowance and so the width of it is three inches so i'm going to have six inches because i'm cutting both the front and the back band together so yeah once you've opened it up this is what you have for the front block of the band and for the back block of the band this is what you have our band guys if you find this uh, video very educative if you've learned from this video kindly follow us on our facebook page city designs where we also give out detail and proper illustration on how to achieve a certain style and you can also join us on our website where we also have details on how to cut and to achieve some styles i'm going to put down the details in the description bar so you can follow us on our facebook page follow us on our website and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe and you can also register for training if you want if you want to join us for training both online and physical training all the details and the information are going to be in we are going to do is we are going to take out the two front piece now you are going to measure for your pockets 
which is seven inches. So you mark seven inches for your pockets. Now four pieces for our pocket. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch it. Now, because we want to achieve a slant shoulder, a slant pocket, on your waistline, mark one inch. And so you are going to fix your pocket this way. Slant this way. So I'll go ahead and stitch that. This aside. Go ahead and set this aside. Block, measure your pocket, which is also seven inches. But when you are fixing the pocket for your back block, you are fixing it straight, okay? You are fixing it straight. So this is what we are going to have for the back block. So once you've taken out one piece of the front and one piece of the back, now you go ahead and stitch here all the way down now when you are stitching this don't forget that this is your round lap so you also take note of your round lap measurement okay so we have 24 which is 12 inches and here we have 14 inches so it means we are marking we are going to stitch one inch on this side and we are going to stitch one inch on this side okay so going in with this one inch i'll just stitch it all the way down this upper part that is want to close our pocket so you can see where this part of the pocket started from you can see that slant shape we wanted to achieve so we'll sew this part so once we've done this we now go ahead and close like inside of the pocket so that your pocket can be head and fold this lower part okay because when you close it up without folding it it might be difficult for you to be able to close it okay so we'll go ahead and close off your round sleeve measure And here we have 24, which is 12. So let's go ahead and stitch this. This is what it looks like. So we'll set this aside. So the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and sew this together. Now, this midpoint here is going to meet with this midpoint. So you join the two middle points together. And then you stitch it all the way after that your shirt is ready can you see it guys so you can see our shirt is almost ready so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and fix in our band so let's go ahead and stitch our Band. Okay, stitch it all the way. See, our shirt is ready. You don't want to use elastic and you decide to use zip. So, I'll show you guys how to fix it. So, I've gone ahead to take off the elastic, and of course, our band is still there. So, by this side, where you want to fix it your zip you just go ahead and but if you want me to make the one of the front zip you have to put that in the comment section and i'm going to make a video on that shorts with elastic and your shorts with side zip so give this video a thumbs up so let's put 